Hi. In this lecture, we will be talking about proportions. What exactly is a proportion? When we have two ratios, A is to B and C is to D, and when they are equal, which means that these two ratios are equal, then they are said to be in proportion. Normally, they will be represented in this manner. Here, A is the first proportional, B is the second proportional, C is the third proportional, and D is the fourth proportional. Also, A and D are together the extremes of the proportion. B and C are together the means of the proportion. For example, 2 is to 6 is equal to 1 is to 3. Thus, 2 is to 6, 1 is to 3 and these ratios are thereby in proportion. Now there are two properties that we need to concern ourselves with. Whenever two ratios are in proportion, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. This means BC is equal to AD. Now, sometimes we have ratios like this. A is to B and probably this ratio will be equal to something like this. B is to C. Now, since they are in proportion, therefore A into C is equal to B square begin to be. This is a property that a lot of questions utilize. There is one more property which is called the proportional division property. In proportional division, normally you will see that we have to divide a given quantity in a ratio and there we utilize the concept of proportional division. For example, uh, before we go to an example, let's see the whole basics. Suppose we have to decide or uh, divide a quantity m in the ratio a is to b. Okay. Now here, we what we're going to do here is we will divide m into two parts. The first part corresponding to a will be this. The second part that is corresponding to the B section is this. This means that we have divided M into two parts. First one is this. The second one is this. If you have confusion relating to the whole thing, why don't you just add them up? This is equal to n common a plus b upon a plus b thereby you only have m remaining thus you can see we have done nothing else we have just divided m into two parts through the use of proportional division okay i'll take an example suppose we have to divide 200 in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. Now in this case, the first part will be 2 upon 2 plus 3 plus 5 into 200. This is equal to 2 by 10 into 200 or this is 40. The second part is 3 by 10 
into 200 which is equal to 60 and the last part is 5 by 10 into 200 which is equal to 100. Thus, this is the way proportional division is used in questions. So that's it, our proportions. Best of luck.